next guest. Stars on a, a very popular new television uh, series entitled Gossip Girl. Please say hello to the lovely Blake Lively, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, Thanks. you look great, Blake. Thank you so much. It's a beautiful dress. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. I oh, have I'm a so confession. Excited. What's you, the problem? And um, there's not a problem. Yeah. It's fantastic. Okay. You and Leonardo DiCaprio were my childhood crushes. Oh. So I'm nervous right now. So make me feel comfortable. Well, well, God bless you. Thank you. That's well, now I'm. Now you see, I'm, I'm nervous now. Oh. Whatever happened to that Leo guy? Actually, backstage. Waiting oh, for me. oh. Uh, <laughs> no. here's what we'll do now. Let's. Uh, you just look great. Oh, by thank the way. you so Let, much. Let's talk a, a little bit about yourself and and <laughs> where you're from. And you're just a kid, right? You're just. Well, I'm 20. 20 years old, yeah. sure. <laughs> and uh, I'm three times your age. <laughs> Where, where are you from? How did you get your uh, start? I'm from Burbank, California. Yeah. My whole family is from Georgia, though. And um, my dad actually brought my family out to California on a motorhome because he was in the original cast of Dukes of Hazzard. And um, they thought they were going to be there for a month, mm -hmm. and they ended up being there their whole lives. I'm the youngest of five kids that was born in um, wow. Los Angeles. Everybody else was in Georgia. So and I'm still a little, like, southern. So, so your, your, your dad was, uh, your dad was a, an actor in Georgia, got the work in, in the show? Is that what yeah, happened? Yeah, um, he, he actually went with a friend to an audition, and they were like, oh, what about you? Why don't you come in? Mm -hmm. And so he ended up getting the job. Great. And he was like, well, let's try this. So they got in a motorhome and came there, and um, they've been there ever since. My brother, everybody in my family has piddled in acting mm -hmm. at some point. I'm sorry, they've done what? They piddled in acting? <laughs> Is that a word? I well, think they, I just they, made it up. No, it's fine. Puddled? They piddled, piddled. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but my brother was rusty in European vacation. My sister was in this movie called Teen Witch. And, um, yeah. oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like this weird cult. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy. The mm -hmm. drag queens are touring across the U.S. right Is now, right? trying to get it re-released on DVD, and they do this big performance and sing along. <laughs> and um, she gets calls from prison, and it doesn't say anything <laughs> but prison. <laughs> it's like it's so scared to answer the phone. But um, so they've all been. My brother Eric has done a bunch of things. He's actually the one that got me into acting. Well, it's so the whole family then. That's kind of yes. exciting for you. And and then uh, the, the 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 big movie was it your first movie, the the Sisterhood of the Flying Pants? Was that? The... <laughs> No, this is sort of the traveling pants. Oh, traveling pants, pants. Yes. that's right. <laughs> so that's a Close. flying pants. <laughs> um, and then there's the, the, you did a sequel to that, right? Of, did another one? Sequel. That was my first job, um, which was a few years ago, and then we just did the sequel in Greece this summer. And that was really oh, great. Oh, that must have been fantastic. Yeah, it was fantastic yeah. because we all became such good friends, but it's hard to find time to go away to, right. for a week together. Yeah. So we ended up being in Greece for the first four days. We um, ended up staying all night and hopping rooftops and singing Aladdin songs and putting the blanket out and singing A Whole New World, looking over the Mediterranean Sea. It was really fun. But then <laughs> I, I crashed a moped into a stone wall. Oh my God. So it was on crutches. And, and, and when you, when you, when you, no, I, I don't want to look at this the wrong way, but when you crash into something in Greece, it could very well be an antiquity that you're crashing into. It's true. It was like a, a beautiful ancient, but the, the, the most ancient things, though, were the men that they had carrying me up the uh. stairs. <laughs> they were just like, <laughs> it's true. So old guys are carrying. It was these old Grecian men that are like half my height trying to carry me up these stairs. It Good was... gig. <laughs> uh. How long, were, how did you actually break your leg or your ankle? Um, no, we don't know what happened because they only have an x-ray machine. They didn't have an MRI. Mm -hmm. um, the doctor that was giving me shots the whole time, I actually, um, we jumped off a 25 foot cliff into the ocean later while my knee was still hurt. Um, they promised us that they drudged the bottom. No, 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 wait a minute. You jumped off a cliff. Now, was this for the, for the movie? For the movie, yeah, for the movie. We actually did, they, did they it have before. stunt people for that sort of thing? They don't want to hurt them. <laughs> No, but so we jumped off, and I ended up stepping on a sea urchin, even though they said they cleared the bottom. Wow. So I had 42 sea urchin needles in my foot. And this doctor, he's cutting, trying to get things out. It was really gross. But he said, I need a scalpel and antiseptic mm -hmm. to continue. But we don't have that, so do you want to see if there's a steak knife next door and I can yeah. finish? Sure. I find well, out later I'm... that he was just a <laughs> chiropractor. He was not actually a certified doctor. Finish so... up with a steak knife. <laughs> Sounds like a party oh, at my house. I was injured a lot, but it was it was fun. Whoa, man. And, 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 and were you able to, I mean, how do you film when you get both legs busted up like that? Um, I'm hopping a lot mm -hmm. in the movie, so yeah. I look really excited. So I didn't know how to hop. <laughs> it's true. Every scene, and, and so I was like, I have to clap, too, because I can't just hop. So I'm like, hey, in every single scene. Seen. Um, so sorry, my performance is maybe not so great. No, I think it's, it's some, something to look forward to, honestly. Um, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> I'm so happy.
Now this uh, this this gossip girl. This is this is about uh, uh, an Upper East Side New York uh, uh, pre prep school and and snotty young Upper East Side uh, New York prep school kids. Yes. And then uh, some somebody in that group also has a blog where it's gossipy and they uh, tell gossip stories about all the kids, but the kids don't know you who. You watch it. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you knew way too much. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sad, isn't it? Um, <laughs> But now, who are you the, the gossip girl, and the, do we know? No, we don't know who the gossip girl is. It's maybe one of the members of us because they know all of the inside information. Um, but, you know, it's the big mystery. I think it's Chuck because, you know, he's mm -hmm. a little shady. Yeah. But it's actually funny because people come up to me. Um, I had this meeting with this really important studio head, and um, he said, I'm really upset. Your show is not a good influence oh, on brother. young people. And I said, well, and I thought he was going to complain about the sex, drugs, or alcohol. Not that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he complained. He was like, my niece ended up becoming um, the gossip girl of her school, and she mm -hmm. made a website writing about it, and she ended up getting suspended. Oh, I was like, well, it's yeah. not my fault no, your niece is your sketchy. Fault. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> it's not my Certainly, responsibility. No, it's not You're your not responsibility. You're not supposed to do that. Not your responsibility at all. Don't do anything nope. you do on the show. No, that's, that's the right. point. Yeah. And, and, uh, but no new episodes now because of the work stoppage, um, right? Right now they have a thing called Gossip Girl Revealed. It comes on Monday nights. They're re-airing all 12 episodes um, with extra footage, deleted scenes, outtakes, interviews with us. Mm -hmm. um, but pending the strike being over, they're confident that we're supposed to have new episodes that's airing great. in the spring. That's great. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's take a look at a clip. Oh no! What is it? Hmm? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't have a clip. <laughs> Why don't? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be one. You uh, got out. You <laughs> yeah, that's it, right. <laughs> well, it's a great pleasure to meet you, Thank Blake. You so Thank nice you very much, you. Blake Lively, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back with Letty Graff.